um, just down here on some point on some bay should i say some point it's just at the other end of the beach down there where i've been before where the type 45 bunkers are just doing some beach photography today and some wood photography later just having a nice walk along the beach folks for i thought i'd bring you along with me the tide's out at the minute um so it's all mud flats just there but beautiful sand dunes just to the left of me there absolutely stunning folks up, up on top of that hillside there where I'm pointing the camera at now is the old Iron Age hill fort what I've been to up there is some antennas just where my fingers pointing straight ahead that is the cooling is um, the water tower as well where General Eisenhower also known as President Eisenhower camped at that water tower for D-Day landings that's where the American troops camped for D-Day landings folks and this is where they train down here for D-Day landings the Americans with the British as well folks but same positive as always but I'll give you a tour take you out with me back out doing photography so go and check out my Instagram at Blind Explorer 2226 folks go and check out my Instagram and see some of the amazing photos of I produce as a blind guy, inshallah. Right? Al Akram as well, folks, right? I produce some amazing photos, right? I've just released some old photos from before I lost my eyesight in 2015 of Snowdon when I camped out on Snowdon just to get the morning shots I wanted. Right? And but and I still do my work, I still do the photos. Sorry about the wind noise for it in here, but I can't help that, I'm out on the beach. But and I keep positive. Sharing the love as always. One love, one heart, one nation folks. And they just out chillaxing. We're going to have a little wee walk down here along the rock wrong the pebble area. Um it goes from sand to pebbles to mud flats round here. Um, so you've got to be a bit careful because it's quite a lot of mud flats and sinky sand and stuff. There's no lifeguards, so you've got to be careful. Um, but it's nice, peaceful, chillaxing folks. So I'm, like I was saying, you know, I'm continuing with, with my photo work. Got the big camera on my back strapped up. I use talk back because my camera connects to my phone through the Canon app and then it all goes through top back so i'm able to do it as well like i've already shown on the bbc documentary about how i take photos as, as a blind person and now we're on the rocky part as you can see here folks it's quite rocky and pebbly up there with our driftwood and stuff but just having a chilled walk nice peaceful away from a lot of people social distancing to its finest day but it's just nice what more could you ask for folks beach we've got beaches yeah the water's lovely and brown <laughs> like dirty muddy water Lol. <laughs> and then you got the woods so you got all the aspects all in one big hit all in one big big ratio folks so it's lovely um so yeah it's quite nice and we're just out chillaxing today having a nice very long walk um, yay pebbles and now we're on the pebble side I like these because I, I am not I'm not using my cane properly because um, I'm on a beach obviously I'm just walking I've got my cane out if I, if I need it but I'm just feeling my way along like you do and it's just nice to be relaxed and freedom and peaceful and tranquil folks but anyway Go and check me out on Instagram. Go and check me out on Instagram and go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Line Explorer 22 26 folks. Peace and love from Sam Bay. From Sam Bay. From Sam Bay here. In the beautiful Sam Bay in Somerset. Go and share the love. Peace and love from the Line Explorer 22 26 folks. Peace and love. Al Akbar. Inshallah. Mashallah. Peace and love, all the way. Share the love from Blind Explorer 22, 26 folks. Go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube. That's Instagram and YouTube at Blind Explorer 22, 26 
Peace out. There you go, folks, from Sombay. Beautiful view. Tide's coming in now. Got the shots I wanted, but I'm getting out of here now because I would, would cut off just over there if I don't, because the tide's coming in. It's the second, it's the second fastest tide in the world, folks. That's how dangerous this tide is. Um, we've got a couple of paddle boarders out there, paddle boarding, kayaking and stuff. Um, yeah, so beautiful. Got the shots I wanted. Absolutely stunning shots. I may actually print them off and sell them as posters. But hey oh, there you go, there's the tide folks, in Rocky Beach all the way across, no way back out apart from scramble climb up the, the embankment there, but I'm a bloody joke of a climb so I'm not doing that, I can't be asked doing that, but now a nice walk home now. Beautiful, stunning folks, share the love from Somerset, from Sand Bay, beautiful Sand Bay folks. Inshallah. Go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Blind Explorer 2226. That's Blind Explorer 2226. Peace and love, inshallah. Well, folks, we're just here now in the woods. On the way home. Just there. It's the beach just where we've just been, straight ahead of us there. So you get the beach and then the woods. So now we're on the way home, uphill. <clears throat> up this massive hill. Find our way through home navigate home now first time i've done this trek home this way so hopefully i find my way peace and love inshallah <laughs>